Okay, so I just wanted to go over something real quick regarding the Ida Python API. I kind of explained it in my last video, but I wanted to show you in a little bit more of a clear, concise way. So um, it can be very confusing in that. So let's look at this. This is a this is a, a GitHub repo of somebody. You can see right there F four seven H three R. He has a he or she has a, a Ida Python script here, and you can see here you're reading. You know you're reading along. You're trying to learn something from this. You're trying to see what it does, and then you see this add breakpoint. Okay, enable breakpoint. Okay, and then all of a sudden you see like set breakpoint cnd and the style of how this is written is totally different from this this is using the underscore old uh, c style type of formatting and this is using the newer almost like dot net uh, or uh, windows api style formatting where it has the caps and everything so this might be confusing and then what's even more confusing is you actually go to the ida python uh, api and you search here for that. So let's say we're looking for what set B point CND. So basically set breakpoint condition, right? So we go up here in the search box, we say set BPT CND, right? <coughs> well, guess what? It's not even in here. So now you're like, what the heck? Like this is obviously part of the, the IDA pro uh, Python API, but it's not in the documentation anywhere. And um, in fact, I can't run it for you right this second, but it actually works too because I use these I use these functions sometimes, and they actually work. So they're there, but they're just not in the documentation like this. So what you do to solve this problem is you basically and it, you can't always be 100% accurate with this, but break it up. So type BPT, and then you'll start to see here that it's probably in here, but it's instead it's using that underscore format. So you can basically convert it and find it that way. So see, we see Dell BPT, Dell BPT group, enable BPT, find BP, BPT. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, so we're going to go back here. We're going to look, so it was a set breakpoint condition. So we're going to type set underscore BPT. And then let's just go through these. So I'm hitting enter, I'm going to the next one, the next one, I don't see it yet. Boom, there it is, see? Now this is what's dumb, right? So it's set BPT C O N D now. So if we would have done this, if we would have done set BPT C N D, like it says back here in their in their uh, other version of it, then we would not have found anything. But if you break it down into smaller parts and look for those, then you'll find out that a lot of these functions, if not all of them, are in here. I don't think they all are in here, um, or they may be completely reworded, but that's a really good way to find the actual function. So now we click on the function, and now it will tell us uh, what's going on here. So the thing takes an address, a condition, and then um, whether or not the condition is low level or regular, and it returns success. So that's it. That's what I wanted to show you. It's a very simple trick with the Ida uh, Python API, but I mean, if you're going to be doing any kind of serious Ida Python scripting, you're going to want to be able to use that trick because some of these some of these uh, functions you're just not really going to be able to find anywhere else on the internet, and you're going to end up coming to this uh, API docs, and it's just you know. It's it's it can be it can be difficult. So anyway, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll we'll look at more Ida Python in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe.